Hello and welcome to the tip of the week. So today let's start right off by looking at some spectra. These were collected using a specular reflection accessory. Exact same sample, it was a KBR polished disc. So why such a big difference in reflectance? Because one, we had a measurement of near zero and the other, we had a measurement of, of about 25%. Well, let me show you. Here is a plot that is generated by applying Fresnel's equation, which lets us look at reflectance as a function of angle of incidence. And the upper line is the S polarized light and the lower line is the P polarized light. As we get beyond 10 degrees, the effects of polarization make a big difference in our values. So in the case of my spectra, I collected near 60 degrees which is close to the Brewster's angle at about 55 degrees. My values are very small for P polarization, yet much higher when I made that measurement using S polarization. So if you're interested in investigating some of these reflectance values of your sample as a function of S or P polarization, the VMAX is an excellent accessory for this. And if you're interested in avoiding these polarization effects, you're going to want to measure down in that near normal range, and I would suggest the 10 spec. So there's your tip this week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.